641 to base. I, I'm at the vehicle now. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm all right, officer. How are you? Well, I'm responding to a 911 call about a suspicious person breaking into a van. I need you to step out and show me some ID. Uh, no, it's OK. My name's Tom Haverford. I work for the Parks Department. I just got locked out of the van. I had to jimmy my way back in. Well, why don't you jimmy your way out and show me some ID? Um, well, I just told you my ID, so what's the crime here? Parking while Indian? No, there's no stereotypes about Indians sitting in vehicles. All right, fine. Here's my ID. Nice job, Paul Blart. Why don't you head back to the mall? Make sure nobody's breaking into Lady Foot Locker. Hey, I'm very close right now to placing you under arrest for disorderly conduct. Step out of the van. I'll step out of your mama's van. Ah! How about you shoot me in the head? Oh, wait, you already did that. Hey, Tom, can I talk to you for a second? Hold on, this is amazing. Now, I need to talk to you now. Okay. okay. Whoa, and whoa, are we finally gonna do this? Ow! I saw you shoot Ron. Okay, Leslie covered for you, but I'm not gonna let her take any more crap from Ron on your sorry ass behalf. Okay, for the record, I was gonna come forward and I'll do it right now. But afterwards, can we come back here and talk about us? Oh. Ah. Oh, here's your name tags. Here. Ethel, this shirt is from Theory. Name tags make holes. I'm not wearing this. Do what you want. This thing is a mess. We used to have three carts, actually. The first one got pushed into the creek by some kids. The second one, raccoons got onto. There was urine everywhere. And the third one was recently stolen. What's this one? This is the second one, the raccoon piss one. All right, so we're going to just head out. Oh, no. You know what? I think we got too much weight. Oh, that's Tom, probably. Are you serious? Tom, can you get off, please? Just run alongside the cart, OK? OK, here we go. Whoa. So let me tell you a little bit about the park. Uh, up here on the left is uh, one of our most beautiful grass fields. Uh, it's primarily grass. Right, I'm going to make a hard left here. Stick with us, Tom. What kind of moron doesn't get a license? That's reckless endangerment, my son. That's a $25,000 fine minimum and probably jail time. But she covered for me, and I'm in the clear. Yeah, that's right. She kept her mouth shut, and now you're in the clear. Well, Ron, you know, I couldn't let I know. You did good. You're a real stand-up guy. I'm sorry I lost my temper before. It was because I was shot in the head by a moron. Yeah. Dude, Ron, I'm so sorry. Apology not accepted, moron. Pants king. Pants queen. Ow! Ow! Ah! Better than that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Why are you hitting yourself, Glenn? Uh, uh, Stop uh, hitting yourself. Tammy? Any of this looking familiar? Uh, yeah, it, it happened right over there. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Take a look at this path. With budget cuts, we can't afford a single safety light. There's been 10 assaults already this year. Wow, really? Can't you station a park ranger out here? We have. Who do you think they're assaulting? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. One way or another, I'm going to get money so you can protect Jerry and all the other helpless, pathetic people in this town. <sighs> you guys got to slow down. You have to take a rest for a minute. No, Tom, sorry, no can do. Sun's going down. It's real dangerous out here. Let's roll, Carl. OK, going fast. 
Well, 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 if it isn't Ethel Beavers. What's up, beautiful? Julianne Moore just called. She wants her hair back. Nobody named Julian called. Never mind. I just need to ask you a couple of questions. One, can you help me out with this project we're doing? And two, will you please invite me to your 30th birthday party? What are you doing? I'm making a test call to your phone to make sure it's working so you don't miss any more calls. You know what? Don't bother. Maybe I'll just find an open window and plumb it to my desk. Okay. You know what else gets people's heart rate up? Doing it. Talking about sex with my boss. Can you excuse us for a second? Yeah. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Ah! Oh, we get out of the chair. Hey! What is wrong with you? Leslie. It's the workplace. You're being a little bit too feisty right now. You are being a little bit too much of an ass right now, okay? Knock it off. I can't fight this feeling anymore. You and I, we're dating. You should be so lucky. Oh my God, the baby is Tom. <gasps> what? <laughs> this is easily my favorite painting ever. What the hell, Jerry? Look at my pot belly, I look like a pregnant baby. <laughs> And why am I so scared? All right, we gotta take this down now. No, this painting isn't going anywhere. Leslie. How dare you? Oh, no, get her, Leslie! Leslie. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Garbage fight! You two are just the cutest things on four legs. But why so much black? It's like you're going to a funeral. She's got a point, babe. So marry her then. <laughs> oh, I wish. Hey, sorry to interrupt the love fest. But could you hand me that folder there, please, Ethel? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Why you gotta be like that, Ethel? Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the crib. <laughs> Stop laughing, Muriel. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> How is married life treating you? Your husband still know he's the luckiest man in the world? Santino and I are divorcing. Oh. It's actually quite liberating. I'm a woman with a strong sexual appetite. I'm like a caged peacock yearning for the wind on her haunches. It's a powerful metaphor. Maybe we can get that book club sticker in order and we can work on unlocking that peacock cage. Things have changed, Tom. Don't make any promises you can't keep. I'll have another drink, and so will this adorable hunk of caramel to my right. Drink up, Tom. I'm gonna go powder my nose, amongst other things. <laughs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> she gonna powder her vagina? You gotta help me, man. Everyone, please help me. I'm trying to get Tom back. I'm begging. This department just doesn't work without you. What do you say? Ron, this is embarrassing, even for you. I'm not coming back. Peace out, my dudes. Excuse me, everyone. That was great. So what I'm thinking is, I'll come back in a few days. You'll beg me again. Ah! So, if it's okay with you guys, I would like to ask Ron for my job back. Ron, may I have my job back, please? Thank you. I will see you all Monday. Looking forward to it. And? Wow. Yeah, and look, I got one too. Matching his and hers. So I'm Tommy's girl and you're just Tom? Why not Anne's man? <laughs> Nobody owns me cupcake, not even you. You can either burn these hats in a fire or you can use a blowtorch. How about this option? We put the hats on. Don't say it. We take everything else off. A deer jumped in front of the car, and then a bear jumped in front of the deer. Tommy Edamame is back on the grid. Tell everyone to light me up with their digis. Got to load them into my burner. Yes, I went to Best Buy and bought a phone. Out of the car, now. Where are we going, Ron? Are we walking to Best Buy to get a better phone? Just to clarify, it's a no to me on all fronts. And you're offering Ben a job? Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs>